Hey everyone, it's Angie with Adventures in No Madness, and this is David Hendrickson. He's going to share some of his very, very awesome mods that he's done, and uh, tell us about them. Well, thanks Angie for the opportunity. <laughs> awesome, okay, what okay. you got going on here? Well, here we got, uh, this is the obvious thing, you're going to see some uh, fiberglass composite propane bottles. Uh, they're uh, a lot lighter than the uh, standard ones. Uh, they are made for the marine industry. Um, they will... Uh, slowly release the propane in a the fire they won't explode like a metal one there's they won't rust uh they're a fraction of the weight and they're they're transparent you probably can't see it but if i wiggle it uh, you can see through that and you can get the the level of propane you actually have right now they're full so it may be not be a period but this still, still could be up in this area here um the jack you see here Trailer Valet brand. Uh, it's a, uh, a fraction of the weight of a normal electric jack, power jack. And this you simply put your drill on. And this, this unit weighs 10 pounds, where a typical electric jack weighs uh, 30 pounds. Uh, and it's just run off your drill like you would use for your stabilizers. As long as you got a battery in your drill, you got you got power to do it. And it does have a, a crank, a manual crank, to uh, should you don't have any battery. So the, the main uh, benefit of that is it just jacks up faster. It's basically. a one-to-one. -one. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's very fast. Okay. Less weight, and then you don't have the big... Uh, exactly. So you can still put your tailgate down. That's it. Right. That's awesome. it. Yeah, people with trucks, that's okay. exactly true. Okay. Yeah. Good alternative to that. Yeah, we don't have the truck, but uh, yeah, it's, okay. that's, a, that's a win there. Uh, our travel uh, the, uh, box here for our accessories, um, we went with, uh, with an optional. This is available through E-Trader. It's uh, aluminum, but it's uh, powder coated, so it uh, has a good look to it. But it's, it's uh, very uh, deep, and, and the sides are straight, so you can actually put a lot of uh, more usable product in there. We have our generator, a couple gas cans, and of course, all my wheel chocks, my water lines, electric hoses all fit in there. Uh, I've insulated it uh, for the summer heat. It looks looks good. It's uh, yeah, it's it's shorter this way, so for this particular installation, I, I added these mud flaps just to keep the, you know, the tire rocks off of the uh, side of the trailer. Kind of copy the idea off of Airstream. Airstream kind of does the same thing with metal wrap around, so, so we did that, yeah. And then you've got this, uh, it's like, like a little Kevlar coating, or? This is a, this is a vinyl wrap that uh, has a carbon fiber look to it. Yeah, it does look cool. Yeah. And I, I actually started out with that. Um, but then it was kind of getting bunged up to it a little bit. <laughs> so then I upgraded to that. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. It's always a work it. in progress. <laughs> yes, <isn't it? laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool, thanks. Okay, so this is, a. Uh, in, in here, I don't know if you can kind of tell what this is, but uh, we have a manual awning. People with the electric awnings, it goes into a canister. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is actually only for like sun protection. So when you're, when you're stored, in the in the uh, in the summertime, or, okay. or actually throughout the winter, mm -hmm. it keeps the uh, the sun off the fabric because that fabric is uh, going to rot right, in the sun. Right. Same thing with carbon your tires. Mm -hmm. Same okay. thing. That's pretty so cool. So it's a it's a quick fix for people that don't have uh, you know the electric. What is that? Just plastic? It is. Yeah. It's it's plastic, and and this part of it was kind of a kind of an option. You just pop it over that, okay. and how the awning sits on the trailer, mm -hmm. there's still a little bit of uh, depth there. Right, okay. So this little extension covers okay. that well, as Where well. did you get that at? That was online. Uh, and I I apologize, I forget the okay, name of the well, company, you but it, I, you can can, I, can, I can let you know later. <laughs> just, and you just put your rug back there. Put the camera oh, back okay. there. And just used uh, self-tapping screws to put that tube into the frame, I did, like I the, did. with the sewer? It's some strapping mm -hmm. material. Okay. That I, that I, it's plastic pipe. I just mm -hmm. drilled some holes in there for water drainage. Mm -hmm. You know, for the if you have a wet rug. Okay, so how we are set up here is uh, kind of a mobile kitchen, if you will. Uh, an optional, I wouldn't say optional. This is a creation of my own. Ordered a different cooktop, and the brand on this is Kitchen and Home. And I just merely sits in the hole. I cut the hole. It sits in there, and the gas line drops down here. I've got the gas line on a quick disconnect, oh, yeah. wow. That's so cool. I can I can take this uh, my cooktop outside and use it outside, and then we this area here is normally where they have a the optional uh, 
convection microwave. It's, that's what that's for. So I just uh, had them prepare that hole for it, and now get all these little accessories that I got buried in here. Okay, so here's our Breville oven. So if we pull it out, and uh, you can use it here as well. It does give off a lot of heat, mm -hmm. so when it's in this position, it's usually going to be just toast, bagels, you know, maybe a pizza. But if you're going to use it for a long time, like an air fryer, where it's going to be really giving off heat, you just unplug it and take it outside. That's cool. And uh, for transport, this high-tech stick here, <laughs> just put that in there and it keeps it from rolling out. You don't have to be super techy for that stuff. Yeah, either. keep it simple. So what was the brand of this? Kitchen and Home. Kitchen and Home. Yeah, it's got a, it's just K and H, mm -hmm. it's Kitchen and Home. Okay. And I got that through like uh, decor.com or something like that. Uh, yeah, and this uh, compressor refrigerator uh, probably draws about four amps mm -hmm. and uh, very efficient. It's 12 volt only. Runs on 12 volt all okay. the time. Okay. Uh, it's um, it's short as you can see, and the reason for that is um, uh, the absorption type is narrower because because all the components are mm -hmm. in the back, all the components are on the top here, so the, they can make this one deeper. So it's the same volume as the other style refrigerator part. The refrigerator is the same volume, but the freezer is smaller. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than the original. The freezer is smaller. Mm -hmm. So we do carry the optional little kick around okay. that works really well. But And because it was smaller, we were able to put the microwave, microwave. above it. <laughs> Very cool. And, and I also have another power uh, receptor in there should I want to have two mm -hmm. so I can I could be like a, a famous chef I can have two <laughs> right yeah I've heard really good things about these types of fridges uh, even on 12 volts I've got some friends that have a 12 volt and they swear it just it works great yeah it takes so much less energy than the three-way fridges if you were to have those yeah on 12 volts and, and above the energy uh they cool quicker mm -hmm. so like if you're not camping for a while and you want to go out for the weekend they cool down really quick they work better at elevation. Uh, the Just absorption medicine. type will lose your efficiency. Absorb. If it's really cold, your absorption mm -hmm. will not work at a certain temperature. These will. Uh, we live on an island, so uh, uh, you can't you can't have your propane bottles open on on an island on the, fer right, on on the, the ferry on the yeah. ferry transport. Mm -hmm. So you have to shut them off. Yep. So if you if you are running yours on gas, mm -hmm. you have to shut them off. So it's never an issue. Um, I have a. Uh, I have a breathing mask that my lovely CPAP that a lot of people have. <laughs> a lot of people have yeah. them. So anyways, this thing draws like mm -hmm. six amps and the compressor refrigerator draws four. This thing takes more electricity. And that totally blows me away. And it's running all mm -hmm. night long, right? I'm breathing right. all night long. Right. Where the refrigerator is cycling. Mm -hmm. It's just off and on a little bit. And so how much do you boondock versus having uh, hookups? Or you dry know, camp versus I'm going to say probably 20% boondocking. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, we, we use boondocking more for like in between destinations. Mm -hmm. Like if we're going to go to a state park. Of course, most state parks mm -hmm. also you can you can call it boondocking, dry camping. Yeah, or whatever. but when you say boondocking, I always think of like out in the boonies. Alaska, <laughs> <laughs> out in the boonies, <laughs> out in the boonies. So, so yeah, yeah. Well, I love how you have it decorated in here. So it's uh, well, really it's not, nice it's and not clean. Really, it's and not really, really decorated. Uh, you this, know, it's, not, it's just like clean all, and simple, which we like. Us too. This is what they offered. Mm -hmm. We didn't do nothing mm -hmm. extra. Um, so you do have the nice flip up flip. countertops. We actually did not put those in we and sometimes we kind of regret we didn't, it. We didn't put them back here because mm -hmm. when you're either. sitting there they're in the way. But and you have this nice uh, bigger, yeah, this deeper sink. Uh, composite sink mm -hmm. and, uh, and Escape is going to actually start offering this particular that would sink. Be nice. Yeah, um, It was uh, kind of a mistake for me. I love the sink but the shipping up there cost me more than the sink. Ah. So, so I cut the hole for the cooktop, and mm -hmm. I probably should have cut the hole for the sink too. Yeah. And just had it sent to my house. It would have been and it a lot. Look like you've lost a lot of counter space here compared to us. I mean, I the sink is I a standard, so. and, I don't and it's so. still. Yeah. And do you have a cover over here? If you we, need we to, do, we do. To add that extra space for. We do. I'll just dig it out. There it is. You have a nice Berkey, Berkey there. Yep. So there's the there's a the cover perfect. for. For more, right, for and, and, space yeah, mm -hmm. and also we have this thing right here, like uh, this big black cutting oh, board here. So when I take out mm -hmm. the cooktop, 
Oh, okay. That's, that's so if, if you're eating outdoors, yeah. cooking outdoors, it's a great prep area. That's nice to be able to take that inside and outside. Yeah. I, mean, I kind of yeah. like that you've done that. Well, if it's really hot, you don't want to be cooking in here. Right. Or if you're cooking something nasty, you know, mm -hmm. some, some fish or something that you uh, don't want to stink up the trailer, you know. So it works quite well. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect option. Well, I love your colors in here. Thank you. And you probably don't know what they are off the top of your head, but... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't. Yeah. You're yeah. right. You're correct. <laughs> I wouldn't know mine either. Okay, the, the batteries are right here. I've got them clustered right there, three yeah. side by side. They weren't there originally. And the reason is the Canadian regulations say mm -hmm. you have to vent the batteries. Mm -hmm. And that is true with wet cell batteries. Right, the lead acid. But, le uh, but the lithium you do not. So originally it came in a, there was a battery box, mm -hmm. and a battery box, and a battery box. And they were all vented together. Yeah. So I removed them and clustered them and I created that much more yeah, storage. Yeah, it's a lot of space. We yeah. use that for a lot of storage too. Yeah. And files and all that. Yeah, I, I don't stuff. have any exterior hatches in this whole area. Yeah, we don't either. Because I, I didn't want any cold yep. air intrusion. It's a, you know, it's another spot for somebody to try and get into to just steal and, something and, and, and it's critters, just in critters and critters. not as a, bitter, a yeah. big uh, critter phobe. So yeah. the, the less access points, the yeah. better in our world. So we have just the one hatch out there outside. Mm -hmm. On the bottom there. Yeah, yeah. and under the yep. bed here, yep. you can just quickly pick it up. Uh, we, uh, to start with, we have the uh, trolley bits. Well, you got the trolley system. Trolley yeah. system, which elevates. Mm -hmm. It gives a nice uh, circulation under there. And like right here, this little mat here. Is that the hypervent? Or no, it comes, it? It's, it's for a baby's crib. Oh, okay. A little, a little That's bump, cool. they call it a bumper. Yeah. And it just gives you a little uh, airspace okay. in the barrier to keep that mattress away okay. from the wall. Yeah. And we've we've done like you. We got the tip for you with the with the hydraulic strut. Yeah, and I wanted to see how you did yours. So you only were able to add one. Yeah, because it, was just, uh, like the it large, just wasn't. It's really hard. Oh yeah, was, yeah. To figure out exactly because um, every bed is different as far as the amount of weight on it and how much struts versus one or two strut mm -hmm. and the size of struts really going to depend. But it, it will hold mm -hmm. if you have eight. Barely hold. Barely hold. But uh, you know, but, it's all about it, the lift it, assist. Ex ex exactly. You use your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah I'm going to keep that area open. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to build any storage containers. It's just boxes mm -hmm. whatever I want. Because, you know, if we want to put something really big in here, I got the space to do it. Yeah. And but that's it, all we did too. We didn't yeah. want the pull-out drawers. Exactly. Uh, because they're kind of limited to the size of stuff that you can, you know, put in there. Yeah. So having it open for us, we can fit things in all kinds of weird little corners and wedges. Yeah. And, and I, uh, if you see the the insulation there, in the pipes. Oh yeah. I, I that's actually, a good idea. I actually just uh, did that to the hot water mm -hmm. lines. Uh, for heat loss. Okay. So that you know the distance from the hot mm -hmm. water tank to the shower and everything. You're, you're not losing the hot water okay. in those pipes. Now, what's this big white thing you have over there? That is a uh, radiant wall heater. Cool. It's uh, called en en uh, Envy. And it's uh, it draws 450 watts, so it's very low. So if I'm here, like today, we're mm -hmm. at the park, so we've been using this at night. So instead of using your suburban furnace. Right. And using your propane? Yeah. All right, we just use a little space heater. This looks uh, much more efficient. It sure it's is. right there. Yeah, it's right by your toes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, you wired so. that in yourself and everything? No, it just plugs in. Oh, it just it plugs just, in. It just oh, plugs wow. in. Are you yeah. serious? It's, yeah. yeah. Well, we actually cool. have five of these in our house. They work quite well. So where do you have yours plugged in at? I have an optional plug that I have escaped with Yeah, right that's smart. And I think the more plugs that when you're ordering, the better. Uh, yeah, that's actually... A really good spot right there. Yeah, uh, and the, I have a little little boom box up there. That's my <laughs> that's my serious uh, satellite radio. And so you put up the pool noodles up here too on one the spaces. One up there. Uh -huh. and one down for your for your toe kicker. Uh -huh. for the toe right there. Kicker. Ooh, and I love the teak floor there. Yeah. All Amazon. You know how it goes. Yeah. Everything's yeah, on yeah, Amazon. 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 Yeah. And right to the corner. I so that one just fit in there perfectly then. It did. Oh, okay. And right to the corner, there's a hand grab. Oh, those are. Oh, okay, nice hand grab there. Suction cups. Mm -hmm. Nice little dispenser. I actually really like your dispenser. They come in either three or two. Okay. So we just com combine uh, yeah. shampoo, uh, conditioner in one and body in the other one. Yeah, I might have to get one of those. Yeah. That would be a bit more efficient than what we've been using. Yeah. See, this is a, you can live in an RV for, you know, three years and still get a massive amount of ideas from oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. newbie RVers that, that haven't had their well, RV Well, we've got ideas so like some fantastic. from you guys yeah. and, uh, and actually uh, our, our, our fix for the uh, infamous uh, 
cabbage is a little different. All I did here is a piece of foam. Oh, that's a good idea. Because right. these, these shelves are kind of mm -hmm. pushed back, so that foam just kind of keeps things in there. Right. And it seems to be working. And it seems so, uh, these yeah. things don't fall out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. That works. Got to make sure you have the toilet seat down before you open it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, another one right here oh, for, your, for your head. Okay. The head barn. So I'm short, and I don't have that problem of hitting my head. Yeah. Uh, Rhonda does occasionally, so that's that's actually a pretty good solution. Well, Angie always wanted to put a number, you know, like an, uh -huh. like an airplane, uh -huh. where they always have the uh, aircraft number. I want to put a number up here. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> we see somebody else put duck, uh, and a picture of a duck oh, that's good up too. here. That, that's, that's, that's funny. That, that's a good one. Ah, awesome. Really great so, ideas. Right. Thanks, Dave. Certainly, thank you. Yeah, thank that's you. awesome. Enjoy showing this to you.